Forum Transitorium is built by the Emperor Domitian, and it's a very small, narrow forum, literally wedged in between the Forum of Augustus on one side and the Forum of Vespasian on the other. What was its purpose? Well, there was for a very long time a very old road leading in from the Subura into the Roman Forum, the Argolitum Street. And essentially the Forum Transitorium monumentalizes that street. It's not lined with porticos because it's too narrow. It's lined with freestanding columns. Two of those columns survive and they are impressive. And at the top on the attic story, you have a mythological frieze depicting the myth of Arachne against the goddess Athena or Minerva. And on top, you have a large figure that looks like Minerva, but with recent excavations and the findings of other large panels, you actually have the interpretation that it is a province, one of many provinces of the empire that are typically depicted as women in different forms of clothing and dress. Now, there was a temple in the Forum Transitorium. It was the Temple of Minerva, and it's located on the far end of the Forum Transitorium. Domitian builds the Forum Transitorium, but he's assassinated in AD 96 and succeeded by the Emperor Nerva, a senator appointed by his fellow senators. So after Domitian's assassination, the Forum Transitorium is attributed to Nerva, although everyone knew it was built by Domitian. The Forum Transitorium, like all the other Imperial Fora, is eventually stripped out in the Middle Ages. But it doesn't disappear over time in the Middle Ages. It's still visible. The same pavement is visible and inhabited by people. And recent excavations have revealed a house dating to 900 AD, literally standing located on the same pavement as that of the third century AD. It's incredible to think that the same ancient level, the same pavement is being occupied for such a long time. The real change is getting into the Renaissance times where you have a real revamping of the neighborhood and much more massive constructions are being built on a higher elevation. So that's when you get a real shift in elevation between the ancient levels and that of modern Rome today. The temple of Minerva, the patron goddess of Domitian, stood on the far end towards the Subura until the 17th century. So we're talking about a temple that without the roof otherwise stood intact all throughout the Middle Ages, all the way up until the 17th century. And that's when Paul V dismantled it and recycled the marble to be used for a massive fountain that he built and still stands today on the Janiculum Hill. 